Hey guys, what's up? Multi PS3 Gaming here again, and welcome to a new series on my channel, and it is called M Creator Tutorials. So basically, what M Creator is, it's a, it's a, it's just a mod creator where you can make a ton of cool mods. You can change some stuff with your Minecraft. You can change your GUI. You can make new dimensions like this uh, mod of the week right here, um, Divine Oblivion RPG mod. So basically, I'm going to be teaching you the basics. Of M Creator and a couple more things with M Creator. So today's episode, we are going to be making a block. Yes, that's right, a block. Um, before we start making the block, I just want to say this is M Creator version 1.5.7 for Minecraft version 1.8. I think if you make it in 1.8, it's for any 1.8. That's what it says on the website. I'll have a link to the website if you want to download and create or make your own mod and see how I make some stuff and yeah if you guys have any questions or want me to make a certain mod or block or anything just let me know um, and I'll, I'll work on it as much as possible um, and if you guys know any coding like some new coding like say you want me to make like a spider-man web shooter and you want him to stick to the wall or shoot webs instead of teleporting well, just let me know and I'll, I'll do it. Uh, you just gotta tell me the coding and I'll figure out how to do it. Basically, we're gonna be making a block. So, first thing we have to do is create an item or block texture. You can also draw it if you want, but I'd rather do this. Um, as you can see, it's really small right now. And to zoom in, you have to scroll down on your mouse. So, the first layer, uh, that's like what the item or thing will look like in the block. So. Let's say, for layer one, we want the block to look like an ender eye. And layer two, we want it to be grass. Oh wait, I did that wrong. Sorry guys. Uh, layer one doesn't really matter. Layer two and three are the things that you have to worry about. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then you can also change the color of the grass in like the shape of it so right here is where you would change the color there's a ton of more options uh, and specific colors you can pick from but we're gonna make a orange dirt block sort of like red sand I guess and um, right back all right so we have the ender eye in the middle which we can change the sh uh, shape of that it's like all weird um, but I like this one this looks cool actually what's the difference between this that one and this one? nothing all right so we are going to change the color of the under eye and we're gonna make it red dark red so this is what the block is gonna look like um, let's zoom in a little bit more so what you want to use is, or what you want to do is click use, and what kind of texture is this? It's a block texture. So you want to rename it. Make sure there's no spaces because it could screw up the mod and all the other stuff. So we're gonna name it Ender Sand. Press OK, and it will save. And all you gotta do is press exit. So uh, hold on, actually, let's do this. So workspace one. What you want to do is click that. Uh, that right and you want to create new element you want to name uh, so it gives you a ton of options you can make an item a block armor plant tools mobs food a biome recipes achievements um, guns dimensions fuel <coughs> uh, commands creative tabs fluid overlay of stuff Alright, I apologize for that. I had something in my nose and it was just bothering me. Uh, so an overlay, keybind, um, uh, basic GUI, and uh, some kind of structure like a village or a pyramid that you want to spawn. So today we're going to make a block and we're going to name it Ender Sand. And then you want to hit enter or OK. So. Uh, the first thing is the block texture you want to you're gonna want to click well technically if you want you can have it all different textures but if you want 
the whole block to be one texture you click on the blue and then you select it and press select and it will make everything look like that uh, next thing is uh, texture type you want to do fixed texture yeah I mean you don't have to but I, I suggest fixed texture um, I don't think you have to worry about this that much it's just if you want it to be like a block or a button or a note block or a cobweb like cobweb to stick stuff bookshelf if you want it for like enchants note block to make noises buttons to make no or open stuff but we're gonna have it as a block so uh, render type should be normal um, import model we don't have to do that um, block dimensions you don't have to worry about this because there's something uh, next that you can hit in round two change where the block spawns so you want to click next uh, then for the GUI like in creative mode or anything you want to name the block so ender you could put a space in this ender sand hardness we'll put it level two just because it's sand um, resistance I'll put that down to five for like a pickaxe mining how hard is it uh, has gravity no it does not because if it has gravity it could float anywhere um, creative tab where do you want the block to be we want it to be in the box uh, tool able to destroy it we'll make it a shovel um, drops by itself I don't have to do that block set drop I don't think you have to worry about this because I'm going to make you click on it. Drop them out. We'll have it set to two just because we want two for each one. Uh, isn't collidable? No, because if it's collidable, uh, stuff happens. I'm not exactly sure. Can provide power. Let's let's say yes. Can provide power. It's just like a redstone block. It will provide power to redstone and light stuff up. Um, light opacity. Just how much it lights up. We'll put eight. Uh, it's a ground material. No, it's sand. <clears throat> um, so basically, when you walk on the block, what it sounds like. We'll do gravel. Why not? Luminance is just basically light. Let's put that up to two. Is unbreakable? No, you don't want to do that because it's like bedrock. Um, harvest level to break we'll do one and yeah that's basically that page you want to click next as you see at the top right here there's a green part that's going across we're halfway done um so if you want particles around the block this is for you i don't use particles around the block so i'm not exactly sure about like what happens but i'm guessing particle types like this explosion type it looks like that uh, explosion large um, huge firework spark um, just like a firework spark you can have water bubbles around it but we're just gonna have explosion type we're actually not gonna have any particles around hey, you know we are so we're gonna learn how to do this together so spawn particles are on block so we're gonna have since it's like an ender sand we're gonna have it something cool it's gonna be cool um, no, 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 no. let's do a portal um, so the radius around the block we're gonna make that two so it's pretty far around particle amount let's raise that up so there's a lot of particles so we know it's there uh, particle spawning condition so you can have it set to always because that's the only option yeah that's the only option all right so tick rate um, if you want to have when you right click on the block you can have events like you can have it explode if you want so basically to have it something explode you just have to mess with the power of it so we want it to be like a power of 2f and have when you right click on the block it explodes um, Random update when block destroys when block destroyed by player you can have it explode when block destroyed by explosion You could have it do something else um, 
So you can just add a ton of updates for it if you want, but I suggest if a block, it only like lights. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Just, just let me know in the comments if you need any help. Um, so basically, this is how you can craft a block, but we're not gonna have it craft. We are gonna have it where we can mine it. So basically, once you get to the last one, you wanna click on the world generation on the top. It shows you right here um, the levels of Minecraft, I guess you could say. Uh, so you drag the blue down. It could be a bedrock, but we're not gonna have it all the way down there. We're gonna have it like right at the surface. Oh, you can bring it all the way up to the highest. You can put a block, I guess. Uh, you want to click generate in world. Uh, if you want to generate a nether, like if you want a nether block, you can click on that. Uh, frequency on chunks. So if you want it to spawn a lot in a specific chunks, or just chunks, any kind of chunks, you can, this is to lower it, this is to raise it. We're going to have it really high just so we can see the block. Uh, frequency on specific chunks. Um, sorry about that. You can change the frequency on a specific chunk, so you have it spawn in a certain place. So what you want to do is click next, and it will recompile or compile, whatever you call it. As you can see down here. So once it's done, we will test out the block, and we'll just see it. Ripping. Yeah, that's our block. It might take a little while. Sometimes it takes a while. Not always, but it goes pretty fast. All right, so build successful, total time 22 seconds. Task completed with return code zero in, I'm not reading all that. Task return code, check okay. So you're good, there's no red, we're all good. So you can test it in a server or you can test it in Minecraft client environment, which we'll do. Um, you can also export the mod to a jar zip file so you can put it in your own uh, Minecraft, you just need to install Forge and you'll be able to play with your mod. Uh, you can also put it in servers also if you wanted to. So we're going to go test out what it's like playing in a single player world real quick. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, so we got Minecraft loaded. It's just a normal Minecraft. You're just using a, a, a random account. It says it right down there. All the stuff. I loaded it. But yeah, we're gonna go a single player world or recreate it and we'll name it We uh, One. Survival Create New World. And let's go find that block. So I will be right back as soon as I find the block. Alright, so I found the block. It's right over here. I'm gonna cut myself a uh, diamond shovel and a creative. Um, but as you see the particles around it, the portal particles, like of an ender portal or an ender eye. Because, you know, we got ender sand. So basically, sounds like gravel. I don't know why the purple particles are coming out when I um, walk on it, but you know, it's fine. Um, so basically, which I set it to, you can only, like, if I want to mine it with my hand, I'm pretty sure it will drop, but it will mine fast with a shovel. As you can see, it drops two for me. Um, up to two more. Okay, there are All right, so I'll show you. Oh, there's three. Four. Five. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens. We set it to where we right click on it, it will explode. So here we go. Boom! So we right clicked on it and it exploded. So basically, it's just like TNT, except it doesn't do that much damage to you. I mean, it did hurt a little bit, but yeah. That was Ender Sand. Now let's blow ourselves up. What happens if we place a ton around this? Oh yeah, that hurt. Alright, well, that was uh, Ender Sand. And that's how you make a block. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want me to do a certain tutorial, I will. Next tutorial, I'm doing. I'm probably gonna do something with armor and texturing it. So, yeah. So I hope everybody has a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.
Nathan activated double fortune for five minutes, and I got 100 out of 100 souls because I had 12,000 coins, and we're gonna do stuff. Woo! Hi, Alex. Oh, wait, not here. Oh, yes, you are. You jumped. You're muted. Can we do something? Uh, wait, what do we use the souls for now? Uh, you go over here, and you can buy stuff. So, I'm doing oh. Let's see what I get. So we have to get at least one legendary item, right? 